Also tonight, New York State already has one of the nation's toughest gun laws on the books. And now, Albany is allowing some New Yorkers to get even tougher on who gets a firearm. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi joined Governor Cuomo on Monday for the signing of what's called the Red Flag Bill. It's an extension of the SAFE Act. It allows parents, teachers, and law enforcement to tell a judge if they think that guns should be taken away from someone or not sold to that person in the first place. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Madison Carter is looking at both sides of the debate tonight. I think that it's good that we're arming teachers with the law. Parents in Buffalo say this measure will save lives if it's done the right way. So as long as this, this law comes with training for those professionals to recognize some of those red flags, it will be good for our kids and good for our schools. Duncan Kirkwood is a member of the District Parent Coordinating Council in Buffalo. He has military background and says training is key in preventing tragedy. In almost every single incident where someone hurts themselves, there are signs that people missed. And we empower school teachers, not by giving them guns, which is the president's idea. Arm and empower the teacher with the law. Making sure people know which signs to flag will ensure this measure doesn't profile students, just protect them. So we don't want to stigmatize as we do this. We just want to identify. But the SAFE Act already has a lot of critics, and this extension is putting that criticism front and center once again. On our Facebook page, one follower called the bill unconstitutional. Another adds this will be abused. The governor says he's heard the same criticism six years ago when he passed the SAFE Act. Hunters still hunt. Sportsmen still have their guns. But criminals don't and mentally ill don't and the slippery slope never happened, and government never came to take anyone's guns, and it worked. And we also talked with the New York United Teachers Union, who praised the move by Cuomo. They told us in a statement, this is common sense legislation that will help protect students, teachers, and the entire school community. In studio, Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.